Hello folks. It's been a couple of weeks and I thought I'd check back in and let you know why things aren't going as, as I hoped they would. Uh, my wife had a heart attack a little over a week ago and that has slowed us down. She's doing great and that's good. We've had to change our diet and uh, unfortunately all those chickens we have that are laying the great eggs, well, we're not giving them to our kids. Well, they're helping pay for them. But I thought I'd do a quick update here to let you know that we'll probably be doing some videos on uh, our new plant-based diet because that's what we're eating, strictly plant-based. And it uh, feels good. I've lost a few pounds and don't feel any worse for wear. But I thought I'd do a little greenhouse update and a porch update today. Uh, every year we plant flowers out here in this little box I built. And uh, this year was no different. Add some nice color, and by the end of the season, these plants generally fill up the entire box. I know you can hear the girls in the background, and there they are down there digging away and looking for stuff in the straw. Uh, I'm getting six to eight eggs a day, generally seven to eight a day. Uh, I think this is where the garden was last time. I am getting a little bit further along now. I've got, a, well, you can't see it from here, but over on the porch, I've got bags of soil. I've got the first few uh, beds prepped, got some other stuff planted, and I'll walk you around and show you that. The old greenhouse. Uh, I'm not sure how tall things were the last time I had you guys in here, but they're going along well. Big red tomatoes. Uh, I'm going to be planting. Today is the 2nd of May, and our last frost date is generally the 12th. And uh, I try to stick to it because we had almost, we had 35 degrees the other night. And uh, so I try to hang with the 12th, but all these will be going out in different places. I got bok choy and some dark green zucchini. That's the zucchini. I've never done bok choy before. And lo and behold, there's some bok choying it. This, I don't know what's going on with. I planted some more inside. These were California wonders in the front nine nothing has popped up yet and that's very unusual in the back i'm starting to get some uh, early jalapenos but i've replanted both of those inside i'm just leaving these out there to see how they do the yellow crook neck squash as you can see i've got some I only need a couple of those uh, this tray over here is cukes straight eight nothing popping here yet and it may well i, I take that back i've got a little going on they generally come up quick, but it has been uh, chilly here. Uh, brandywine, tomatoes. These are tick seed. Last time you saw them, they were a lot smaller. Today, I transplanted some milkweed pleurisy root. That's looking pretty good. And then this is uh, anise hyssop. And I put some out in the front garden, which I'll show you as well. This was no uh, Blue Lake pole beans. This was no challenge to put those in. Uh, I'll transplant those. This is some more of that anise hyssop. I put it in a big box, hopefully get it up big enough that I can um, stick it out in the yard and it'll take off. These, I don't know if you guys have them in your area. These are flavor bombs. They're cherry tomatoes. These flavor bombs taste year round like great tomatoes. Uh, I just transplanted these. These are a Swiss shard. They may or may not make it. Swiss shard will come up uh, in the garden straight from seed, but I've just got this desire to do planting. This was a wasp this morning. It still is a wasp, but it's in the frozen position. Uh, I don't dislike wasps, but I don't like them either. They bite, sting, I don't need it. Last time you saw these, they weren't sprouting yet. Uh, spring onions going to be ready to eat in another couple of weeks. Got a wild potato. I put, had potatoes in these last year. Seems you can never get rid of the potatoes. But the onions are doing well. Just so you know, these were potatoes I put in there for uh, years. They've come in that car. They keep coming back up. Garlic is doing really well. And the lady of shallot over there. I planted about six bulbs. Only one came up. But what I like is that that one bulb has produced five. So hopefully next year I'll do a little bit better and have a much bigger uh, 
a much bigger harvest of shallots. Now I'll take you up to the regular garden. Okay, folks, this is the front. Not a lot has changed. Um, got some irises coming up. We have some things planted here, some zinnias and something else. I can't remember what it is, as well as this bed. So probably the next video, I'll be able to show you some stuff coming up. Uh, we got a lot of the mulch done. Got a uh, tomato. wire up here hard to see in the video but this is just one of the i'm gonna have two spots where the tomatoes are going the irises came up this was the first year they didn't all pop up but did pretty good uh this is the plant uh, raised bed soil i'm going to be using and some organic dr earth homegrown fertilizer that i mix in uh, the only thing that's really happened up here, put some new plants. We were given a gift of some solar lights. They look really pretty at night. I planted gladiolas, and they're coming up like gangbusters. I just planted them a couple weeks ago. And then I put some anise hyssop that you saw in the greenhouse. I put them here. I'm going to find out if they will make it. That's pretty much where we are right now. The only additional thing we have, I'll show you Jean's uh, flower box here in the front. By the end of the season, it's always beautiful. So we're excited about it. We have, what do we have in these things? It says Super Bells, Rising Star, and Lemon Coral, which is really pretty. And I think this is the same. Yeah, Super Bells, Rising Stars. So, that is where we are right now. Just a quick look at the overall garden. I like to have before and after. Can't wait for this summer where you'll be able to see all of this in full bloom. Till next time.